Hi there, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another one of our bite-sized look at matchbox kits again. This time in for a real treat because not only have we got superb kit, the A7D Corsair 2 from the Vietnam War, but we've actually got a finished one just to prove I'm not just an armchair modeler who just talks about it. I've actually got one I've done here, look at this. Let me just um, bring him over here. Now then. True to form, I, I did this about oh five or six years ago, I think, and I just decided to do it like I did it the first time in 1975, I think was the first time I actually did this kit. If you can have a look on the back of this one to see, I think it was a little bit earlier. Yeah, it was actually brought, released in 73, but I, um, I made my first one in 75, and I just loved the it was the bombs that caught my imagination, and again, it's got this. Uh, uh, Roy Huxley artwork on it with a lot of animation and you know they're doing an airstrike and bombing in actually not bombing in Vietnam um, although you'd think so from the artwork it's actually in the Everglades it says it's the near Valparaiso in Florida would you believe a bombing range there but anyway have a look at the finished one before we get into the kit and you can see this is exactly what it would have turned out like in the day back in the day I should say let's put him over here so you can see him How's that? There we are. So, it's got folding wings. They all fold up for the aircraft carrier operations. It's got lots and lots of lovely weapons on it. The only thing I painted on this kit was, you know, like the undercarriage and I didn't even do the wheelway, uh, wheel, well, bays. It's just as is, um, as you would have done in 1974-75, I did mine in August 75. Um, but I didn't do as well as this and it was all covered in glue last time. <laughs> so I just popped those down like so. And there we go. So, I've got folding wings, nice animated Corsair. Great for bombing Vietnam, fully loaded with bombs. What on earth is there not to like with this? Or the, uh, what do they call it? Uh, snuff, they call it snuff, short, ugly fellow, snuff, short, or slough, slough, short, short, what would the L stand for? They used to call it a slough, it was the nickname that the American Marines gave it. Anywho, there we go, put his wing back up, back at the folded position, there we go. How's that? you like. Is that okay? There you go. So that's what it should look like. Now, let's get into the kit, shall we? So, very, very animated box art. This is PK101, it's one of the very first ones. I say it's got the original orange range from 73. On the side of the box we have quite a nice, again, representation of what it looks like if you finish it without any painting. No painting is necessary. And then on the other side, we've got a couple of the other uh, items in the range. And in this case, it's the uh, Walrus and the Jaguar. We'll probably come to that later. And the Helldiver, which I have actually recently acquired. I've never had one of those before, but uh, I think it's in a sealed box. I'm afraid we won't be getting that one out. Let's focus on the Corsair and Vietnam. So here goes. This, I've got to say, this box is absolutely a minter. It really is beautiful. It's one of the nicest ones of any of the kits I've got, I think, this one. Okay. Um, that said, I can tell straight away that something's missing. We don't seem to have a stand in this one for some reason. Uh, right, I'm sure that's logged in my cataloguing system, but anyway, not to worry. We know what the matchbox stand looks like. I bet there's a stand in this one, is there? Yeah, this one's got the stand. I can hear it rattling around. Yeah, the clear parts. There's no canopy either. Yeah, there's canopy, just no stand. Yeah, this one's got a stand and a canopy. We'll worry about that, we've seen the stand. It's always the same, just the M for matchbox, you know. So, look at this. Even the instructions look dynamic, don't they? Look at that. Beautiful. Orange range, original instructions. Tells you a little bit of history about the aircraft. Um, has, it says the aircraft has a number of considerable number of black boxes complain, containing computers, radar, hood, head-up display, and other sophisticated avionics systems. Uh, slough, 
Oh, there we go. Short, little, ugly fellow. I was right. Couldn't remember what the L was. It's little. Short, little, ugly fellow. On the back, we have got some of the colour call-outs for all the small parts. So we've got our undercarriage uh, landing gear here. Uh, the pilot in his seat, which looks quite a decent looking seat for the, for the time and the style. Um, the arms for the main gear legs. And some of the cockpit uh, interior detail. Uh, under the windscreen and also the intake and for some reason it then repeats that same data I have no idea why <laughs> and then it adds another one at the end with the missiles that's very odd isn't it and the tailpipe here that's quite a strange replication I don't understand that so you've got that bit replicated completely anyway talks about the stand and then we go into the instructions so usual thing for Matchbox in this era so we start off with our a pilot and his seat, whoops, and there we go, pop your pilot into his very basic seat and then you've got your air intake system that he's sitting on top of that goes underneath, uh, under the nose and into the engine. Then you bring in your fuselage halves, popping in your front gear, then your nose and your canopy, I would leave that off until later if I were you folks, don't try that at home, and then there's an intake on the top isn't there, um, or is that the cannon? Sure, what that is actually. I'm not, I'm not an expert on the course there, I've got to be truthful. Is it a cannon? Is it armed with a cannon on top? I think it's a cannon. Um, then you've got your arrestor hook going in and your main gear, including the nose wheel as well, and then the doors go up. And then we get into the bombs. Look at the many, many bombs on this plane. Of course, used in Vietnam, you see it in lots of footage bombing the Vietnam, you know, the jungle. Uh, with mixed results it has to be said but plenty of footage of it. Then we've got the uh, missile rails on the side so it's got a, can defend itself with sidewinders so it's very heavily armed I mean it's got a hell of a payload you've also got the option of having and it has got actually it's got even I didn't notice that it's got tanks it's got um, extra fuel tanks on the inboard of the wing as well so it's carrying a hell of a lot of payload isn't it Multiple bombs. I mean, how many bombs does it carry? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six bombs per pylon. Is that right? Six bombs per pylon. So it's carrying two dozen bombs and two two wing tanks and two sidewinders. That is incredible. Twenty-four bombs. Yeah. It's just. Um, I'm just going to go back to my model here and just uh, check if that's true. It is true. So every pylon has got half a dozen, and there's one pylon, two pylon, three pylon, four. So that's two dozen bombs, two inboard fuel tanks, and sideways. I mean, it's quite clearly a very strong aircraft that's capable of lifting a tremendous payload. But there we have it. So that's the instructions. Let's have a look at the actual sprues themselves. We've got to be careful because I've got a little bit of a broken part on that sprue. I might want repairing actually. Sometimes I'll repair one if it's just still touching. Okay, so I'm going to move the model out of the background because it's going to confuse the camera a little bit. Right, here we go. So, you've got your inboard wings and then you've got your uh, tailplanes here. You've got one of these many, many pylons, multiple pylons. And then you've got the outboard wing tips, folding wing tips here with the hinges. And underneath you've got your inboard wing section with the pylon positions and the holes are already drilled out for you look at that not only do matchbox give you a clean sprue without any flash everything's drilled for you ready to go absolutely awesome that's cool so okay impressed with that that's the first one second one well, i'll tell you what second one we'll call it this clear part which is obviously the canopy so let's just uh, have a zoom in on that canopy Really quite nice to be honest, isn't it? Simple, yep, yeah, does what it says on the tin, in good condition, very good. Then, another, there's a few parts of this sprue that seems to be broken away, and be careful of this. I hear it rattling. <laughs> okay, so this is the main fuselage, and you've got your tail, which is a two sided tail, which is the way they used to do it. So the tail is completely moulded. But again, look at how clean these parts are. There's no flash on them, there's no faults on them. It's a typical matchbox masterpiece, really. 
all beautifully formed. And some of the panel line detailing here is really absolutely excellent, it has to be said. Look at that. I mean, this is 1973. This is a kit that cost 65p. Yeah, I think it's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Let's go the other way. Yep, yeah, just invert it. Look at the other side of the, uh, the fuselage. Yep. Yeah. Again, brilliant detailing. Absolutely fantastic. Here's all your... Um, this is your trunking for the, the jet engine intake that goes underneath here, into the engine. Here's your pilot, pilot seat, and then you've got various, uh, all the doors for the gear here. Careful, next thing is a little bit of TLC. This sprue doesn't seem to need any TLC, this one's absolutely fine. So here we've got the, the, all the black parts, and we've got the jet pipe. There's the back end of the jet pipe there, here. And then we have got many, many bombs. <laughs> there really is. We know there's 24 of them, so yes. Uh, it's almost like tank tracks, isn't it? It's that, that repetitive. <laughs> but that's not a bad thing. Here's your drop tanks here. And then you've got the, uh, the, the as I say, I think it's the cannon. I still can't decide if that's the cannon or the refueling point, actually. Uh, I'm sure experts that are watching this video will shout up. Please feel free to comment. Uh, I'm not an expert on the aeroplane, but um, I know I like it though. It's always a very, quite thuggish looking plane, isn't it? The Corsair. A real meaty, tough machine. And uh, it's clearly um, a real war horse. The fact they can carry the amount of bombs it can carry. It's, like a, it's carrying as many bombs, more bombs than a Mitchell bomber would have carried in the World War II, for sure. Probably double double the payload actually, it's a lot. Anyway. Then we've got your wheels and you've got your nose here at the end uh, and then you've got your gear, uh, sidewinders and then your front front nose gear here. And there we have it really. Oh there's some, uh, some quite decent decals which are looking pretty mint condition actually for being honest these. That's pretty, uh, pretty tidy looking. Tip. Not much wrong with those. Uh, very good condition indeed. So, there you have it. Now, let's have a look at this rather nice part about the box that we skipped over, which was, of course, the, the artwork on the back. And that's really part of, probably the most fun part of the whole thing. So, let's have a look at this. We've got, obviously, it's a, um, again, it's a, as I say, it's a very mint box, this. It's really nice. Got the uh, window style. Typical uh, matchbox style box. And we've got the Green Demons based at Myrtle Beach in South Carolina. And then further down we've got the uh, Licking Dragons. Licking Dragons, okay. And they're based at uh, Davis Montana Air Force Base in Arizona. Uh, and it shows you the, uh, the Vietnam type course scheme where you have the very dark green, the very sort of middle green and then the brown uh, which is very typical of the era for, for the Vietnam jungle. Looks absolutely stunning doesn't it? It's a really really nice kit and when I first saw this one I've got to be honest I was um, I think I was nine, I was nine years old and it was in the window of the local post office uh, at a holiday camp resort when I was at a caravan site when I was on holiday and it instantly captured my imagination. I had to have it, you know. Really, really great artwork. And uh, and yeah, I thought it was going to be an absolute Bobby Dazzler. And it was. I didn't regret it at all. So, there we have it. So, that is the A7D Corsair. Hope you enjoyed having a nosy at that. Uh, please stay tuned. Come back to the channel because we're going to have some more of these uh, in-depth look at some of the old Matchbox kits. Uh, I think next time we might have some, uh, some more armour, you know, with some diorama stuff in the background because that's always exciting. So I hope you enjoyed the, the video, I found it interesting, perhaps it brought, brought back some old memories for you. And uh, maybe uh, kit, a kit perhaps you've made yourself and uh, enjoyed in the past. Anyway, thanks for joining me, uh, great to see you all again. In the meantime, uh, before you come back next time, stay safe and I'll see you again very, very soon. Thanks a lot, bye for now.